Hi, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Arguably, this is the most important scriptures in the Bible. Turn your Bible to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And we're going to start in verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren. Now, what does it mean to be ignorant? It means you lack a knowledge of something. doesn't mean you're stupid. just means you lack knowledge. Just like I lack knowledge on brain surgery and rocket science. I'm ignorant. I admit it. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. He's talking about people that are dead, right? Concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. In other words, don't cry for those that uh, died in Christ. Don't, don't be sorrowful for them, because guess what? If you're in Christ and they're in Christ, you will be with them forever. That ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. See, if you don't have Jesus, you don't have any hope. Verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. Very important that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Oh yeah, that sounds like a secret rapture to me, huh? Uh, people always shout when they're trying to be secret, right? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. Sorry, not Donald. What's the trump of God? It's a trumpet. So there's going to be trumpets, a trumpet blown and a shout. So let's read this again. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So all the Old Testament saints are going to rise from the grave, their resurrected bodies, first. Keep that in mind. Verse 17. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them. With who? All the Old Testament saints. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. To meet the Lord in the air. Very important. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Really important, people. The dead rise first. And then we which are alive at the Lord's second coming are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, if we are not caught up in the clouds in the air with the Lord, the Christ, then if there's another claiming to be Christ that comes before this and we are not caught up into the air with the in the clouds, it's the wrong Messiah. Keep that in mind. If we're not caught up in the air, in the clouds, it's the wrong Messiah, the wrong Christ. Let's go to Matthew 24. 
Now, Matthew 24 is one of the most important scriptures. And Mark 13, uh, verse 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. All right, so Jesus is leaving the uh, temple after he did something. I, I don't know exactly what, if he was teaching or doing miracles, but... And his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple, the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And in 70 AD, that was fulfilled completely. The temple was totally destroyed. So, like I've said a few number of times, when the Jews are praying to that wailing wall, uh, it's not the temple. They're not praying. The wailing wall was not part of the temple. Unless Jesus, you want to say Jesus was a liar and you believe the Jews. Well, you can do that, but I, I pass. Verse 3, And as he, Jesus, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye... Be not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. People, if Christ warned you that there's going to be a famine, maybe you should make some preparations. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, which is diseases. Maybe that's why they want to vaccinate everybody. Maybe they're not trying to prevent the disease. Maybe they're going to spread the disease and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places all these are the beginning of sorrows then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake and what's that name they hate jesus why do you think they always push this Yeshua stuff? Because they hate the name of Jesus. They hate it. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity, or evil, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved. You see, people, Christ warned that false messiahs would come first. False Christ. And we got to be caught up in the air. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. We're going to be caught up into the clouds, in the air. All right, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Witnesses of what? Not the Jehovah's Witnesses. Christ's Witnesses. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. People, if we're not caught up into the air, it's the wrong Christ, the wrong Messiah. That may be one of the most important things you could ever learn. Remember that. The, most of the church world is going to be fooled. You watch. Mark my words. When the TV preachers say that even Christ has returned, 
People will deny, they'll, they'll accept the, the beast, the man of sin, the son of perdition as the Antichrist. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen. All glory to him.